Hi guys, it's Sweet Tooth 1967. I hope you can uh, see me all right because it's a bit dark in this room. Uh, today's subject, um, uh, today is Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday the do, 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 six, seven, 17th of uh, July. Uh, today we're talking about fair weathered friends. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is because I was thinking the other day about people I've known in my life. And other people, which I'm sure that you'll know yourself, um, that you've experienced and you've probably, you know, um, when you needed them, they were never around. And that, or they chose to be around when, you know, when it suited them. Um, I've had a few of those. That's why I prefer to have my own company now, because at least I can rely on myself. Um, I must have lost count of how many times I've needed these people and how many times they've let me down. <laughs> Nights out, camping trips, they've let me down more than once. And even when they did turn up, they'd always be, they would always do something stupid. And, and as I got older, I just realised at the end of this, I just can't be doing with all these people and these idiots around me, you know. Uh, I think Sam Fox coined the phrase really well when she said you're lucky if you have five good friends on your hand you know it's like um because you know yourself um a lot of people just do things at their own pace they've got other agendas now they have families and stuff like that and the things build up in their lives and you're dropped like a hot potato and that's happened to me loads of times you know it's like uh, I use, if I, it's, it kind of feels for me if I don't make the effort with these people including my family they'll just not ring they'll just not get in touch um, I used to do a lot of running around for people and in the end it got to the point where I thought what's the point they know my number they know where I live you know what's stopping them from getting in touch why should I always be running around after these people and I get no thanks for it uh, the amount of diesel, the amount of time. Um, and, you know, the, the funny thing is, the slightest thing that, you know, we'd argue over the slightest things. And in the end, I thought, do you know, I don't need these people in my life. I just can't be bothered anymore. Um, so, okay, one hand, once, I suppose one thing is, well, you know, you're losing out. But then the rest of it is what you're losing, you know. Um, they're not going to come round if your fence blows down. They're not going to come round and help you decorate. They're not going to come round to do nothing for you. If they do, they'll do it in their terms and, uh, you know, that's it. And you think, well, to hell with it all. You know, if that means being on my own more, then that means being on my own. I'd rather be on my own than surrounded by fair weather friends who are in it for what they can get. Or, you know, or they come round and... Uh, they try and bring you down in some way. Now that's uh, that's that is a syndrome that I've known. I used to have uh, a lad I used to know, and he was only ever happy when you were going through a crisis. For example, I look a bit like Harry Potter now with my scar. <laughs> but you know, he'd be break bringing it up, and he'd be there. You know, if I did something, he'd be mocking it, or you know what I mean. I think mean, it it's because these people are quite jealous in a lot of respects. Of you, probably of you, and uh, those people just uh, can't handle it. So you're better off without those type of people. But these fair weather friends I've had for years, I uh, just read one day, especially when I moved up here, I kind of cut ties with them all. I got fed up. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> you know, what are you losing? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you know, you could almost say that you were right cut off in your own little world but I mean isn't it better to be in that that section than to be dragged through their hell as I said in one video you know a lot of people you've got your own stress monkeys on your shoulder and they just want to come around and add it to your to you um and there's a lot of users out there let's face it I mean you know that there's not many people that genuinely want to come around and help you out and and, and just leave uh, there's a lot of people just just want to use you and, and to get and get what they want out of you. And these people, you don't need in your lives, do you? Um, and I, I mean, as I say, I'm at 51. I've I've seen it, you know. Um, and uh, I really I really believe I'll just plod on at my own pace, and I'll I will get there. I'm, I'm going to start a, uh, 
a zombie fitness boot camp that's gonna happen I've been deciding what I'm gonna do with it and what sort of props I'm gonna get I mean at the moment I can't be bothered going round to uh, let's say oh there's a place in Catrick I could ask or the, the farmers I just can't be bothered at the moment uh, excuse me can I borrow your land or can you know what I mean I'm just not in the mood really I really am not so what I'm gonna do is I might try I might try and get some props to begin with because every journey begins with the first step so I kind of I'm, I've got the idea of what I want to do and I'm gonna get the idea sort of together um, so I'm just deciding what props I'm going to use and I don't care if, if people laugh at it because I'm like well you know I've lost nothing apart from a bit of few quid I've spent on props which I can use anyway so um, yeah but I don't, I don't expect like I say I don't expect people to understand they never do do they I mean it's like you come up with a good idea it could be a recipe it could be anything like that and they'd just turn around and probably laugh in your face and it's like well so what you know what i mean because a lot of you the people who are watching this video now are probably non-conformists if you know what i mean because you don't follow the pack that makes you different and they that also than that that is another thing because you don't follow the pack that leaves you kind of on your own you know if you if you were like the rest of them you'd all We'd all have kids and we'd all have, um, uh, I don't know, two cars. We'd all have trampolines in our gardens. We'd all be having barbecues with the neighbours. We'd all go to Tesco for our beers and, and Asda. And we'd all, be, we'd all be doing all the same crap that the Americans are doing, going to Costco's, um, and going out to Ben and Jerry's on a Saturday, um, you know, and... and <laughs> Going shopping at those horrible retail parks. Oh, God, I hate those retail parks. Um, I mean, for me, I hate going out to, you know, I can't be doing with it. I mean, I'll go now and again if I have to, but only if there's an absolute genuine bargain. Other time, I just won't go out. I'll, I'll get things dropped. Um, and I only get things I absolutely need now uh, because I'm trying to declutter. So what I do is, my, my, my thing is, if you declutter your house, you declutter your mind and you're not decluttering your bank account. So to sell one thing uh, to get something else and that way you've earned it. You know, I'm, I'm looking to buy another decent TV, so I'm going to sell uh, something I've got. But at the moment, I'm just repairing it to sell it on. And that way I've got rid of one thing to get something else. Bloody bloody blah, blah, because the TV in the kitchen is <laughs> it's it's a bit outdated. So I'm gonna try and update that as well as the hard drive. Because I do love me movies, I I do. Um So yeah, uh non-conformist attitude. Um you know what I mean. Um and and you know that's probably why you know a lot of people like ourselves are sort of in our own little world I run little bubbles and uh, <laughs> I started off trying trying it what, what, a lot of people say well if you can't beat them join them I'm like nah I just don't want to join them and uh, I, I like that coming what I think Sally was saying about um, not wanting to bump into people uh, when you go out I mean I, I'm, I'm exactly the same I mean when I used to go out I used to not want to see anyone and, and the same route I used to take I'd be like, hun there'd be hundreds of walkers everywhere and so I'd avoid going out at the weekends hiking because there was too many people around and I, I used to enjoy making my own bushcraft shelters and stuff uh, but there's so many rules and regulations in this country you know that gets uh, gets me down and, and and as I'm getting older I can't be doing with a hassle um, I'd get out more but the price of diesel is so expensive and and running a you know I've got a van and it's it's so dear everything's so bloody dear in this country isn't it to do anything so I'm I have to balance up everything, um, yeah but anyway um, as far as uh, people are concerned it, it I can't trust people anymore, um, I was going to help my mother out but she's a complete flake, I mean she she's 
very highly strung and I I feel one hand I feel I should and then the other hand I'm like nah get on with it there's nothing she has that I want you know right now because she said I'll oh, come round there's bits and pieces and I thought <laughs> yeah but at what price you know um, my sister's house is full of crap she she's on good money but she spends it you know what I mean I mean a thousand pounds for a fridge for god's sake smeg fridge just to keep her vodka cool you know and drinks cool I mean the best for the best way to to uh, deal with vodka is put it in the freezer because it doesn't doesn't freeze. But oh no, she has to go out and spend a thousand pounds on a smeg, <laughs> and it didn't make her happy in the end. And she's on a roll in a big expensive house that she can't afford. <laughs> you know. And every time I've gone down there, it's been the same, like a weather, a fair weather sister. It's fine as long as I'm pulling the rope, doing what they say. Don't. Well, I mean, you'll know what I mean if. For example, um, as long as you don't, uh, what was it, uh, rattle the saber, don't, you know what I mean? And I went down one time and it was just like, I had a glass of wine in the afternoon because I was so stressed. Now I don't drink through the day. Um, and my mother came in and decided that uh, my eyes were glazed over and that uh, she didn't approve of that because apparently the uh, grandchild was about and he wasn't, he was at school and she was all kicking, moaning and groaning because my sister was having problems with his ex-husband who might think that if I, a, a drunken guy was, a, he just total stupidity. Um, and uh, we fell out and then I had to end up getting the train back which was a nightmare. And uh, Every time I've gone down there, there's been a total load of stress. And then my mother said, oh, we'll all have to go on a cruise <laughs> from Southampton. I'm like, yeah, right, that's going to happen. Again, she's fair weathered. She's all, she's in your face all the time and then she'll just totally ignore you. And that's what I don't understand about some people. You leave the house and it's like out of sight, out of mind. I mean, what's all that about? I mean, I, I can't be like that. I'm not neither that way or I'm neither that way. I'm like, I'm quite happy to be in touch with someone once a week, but I'm not going to be in your face and I'm not just going to ignore you. I'm, I like to think, yeah, you know, I like to think I'm trying kind of level in that situation, but everyone these days, it's either famine or it's feast. Famine or it's feast. You don't see them for ages, then all of a sudden you see them loads, then you don't see them for ages, then loads. I mean... And that just wears me down. I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered with this crap anymore. <laughs> so that just gets you down, doesn't it, in the end? You want people that's going to check up on you once a week or give you a phone call once a week. Not every five minutes, not every day, but just keep in touch. And that's what you want. People who, uh, if they're going to be in your life... You know, not be in your face, but but at the same time, not let you down. But you guys know what I'm saying. But I, I I've I've just got to, I've got to the point where I can't meet people who, who are just absolutely like normal that res in that respect. Um, I mean, something that I do is um, I'm um, actually I'm down as uh, oh, what do they call it? It's they used to call it an extra. I'm I'm actually now uh, uh, one of my roles is um a supporting actor it used to be an extra but it's a supporting actor um now they, they have the same problems um one minute they'll be they'll be like can you be on screen or can you be on set like and they'll let you know like 10 hours before or something like that or the night before or you won't hear anything for months you know and it's very you know um, but I get that, you know, but at the same time, <laughs> if I'm not in the mood to go, say, up to um, Wall's End or something like that, I I'll just, I'll just leave it, you know, the world will revolve around my, beat of my drum, not theirs. Um, I did a four day course, I'm just getting a bit of experience for it, but, you know, I mean, I'm not relying on it because I know what it's like. The only way to get ahead in Hollywood is by joining the all Ulmanati, 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 and sign a pact with the devil. Seriously, you go online, it's just crazy how many actors have signed up with the devil and musicians and anyone famous. Um, so I'm like, whatever. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, that's just my gripe about fair weather friends. Let me know in the comments. Uh, have you had that sort of experience? Um, are you still going through it? Um, family are very fair weather. Let's face it, you know, they know they can take the piss, and they do. <laughs> How many times have you done stuff for family and they've never so much as given you a cup of tea? So, like, two more. So, but anyway, guys, I am uh, going to be back soon. Well, I might, I might drop a video in tomorrow, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay, thanks. And